Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to make smartphone app and manual switch control home automation. And this project is a bit different as we will be using EEP ROM memory of the Arduino to store the data. So if there is any power cutoff, the last state of the relay module will be stored in the EEP ROM memory and when the power is supplied again, the relays will come back to its last state. As you can see, relay 3 was on before the power cutoff and when the power is back, the relay 3 turns on due to its last state was stored in the EEP ROM memory. So let's get started making this. So this is the circuit diagram of our today's project. So you can connect your connections according to this. If you are using off the shelf components then you can follow this circuit diagram and make your connections on breadboard but I will not be using this relay module and breadboard connections as it becomes very messy. So I have designed my own PCB for this project. So here it is. The connections on the PCB looks very neat and clean and it makes this project very compact. So to make this PCB, first I have designed this schematic on easy EDA, then I have converted it into a PCB file and then I have downloaded the Gerber file of this PCB board. Then I am visiting jlcpcb.com who is the lead manufacturer of the PCB and also the sponsor of this project. So I am going to quote now and add the Gerber file. After adding the Gerber file, I will select the quantity and the color of the PCB and place its order. In 7 to 8 days, I received my order. The PCBs were nicely packed. So we'll grab a scissor and cut the packing of the PCBs and remove our PCB. As you can see, the PCB looks very good. Now collect all these components and we'll start assembling it on our PCB. After assembling, we'll start soldering it. So finally I have completed the soldering. The PCB is ready. It looks very good, neat and clean. Now we'll place Arduino Nano over it. We'll connect a USB cable to our Arduino Nano and start programming it. So this is the code of our today's project. I will recommend you to not connect the Bluetooth module while uploading the code because it will give an error. So we are using the EEP ROM memory for storing the data when the power is cut off. So this is the code and now we'll select the board port and upload the code. So after uploading the code you can connect the Bluetooth module. So here is the app which I have created on MIT App Inventor for this project. These are the 4 buttons and we are using a list picker to connect to Bluetooth. And behind this, these are the simple blocks. I will leave a AIA file for this project so you can directly import it to your MIT App Inventor. And also the APK file which you can directly download on your smartphone. So links to these files will be in the description down below. Now on the PCB you can connect your buttons on these 4 pins. But I also have a PCB for this as well. So I will directly connect these 4 button pins to our PCB header pin.
Now we'll connect a bulb holder to our PCB board. Cut one of its wire and connect it to our terminal connector. As I've shown you, be very careful while doing this as we are using high voltage current in this project. In this new PCB design, I've provided a 220 volt AC to 5 volt DC high link converter. So we don't need any extra additional 5 volt adapter for this project. So we can power this circuit from a directly 220 volt AC socket. So finally our project is completed and we'll test it. So first power on our complete system. Then download the APK file which I have provided. And first we will connect to Bluetooth. Go to Bluetooth and pair the HC05 module. The default password will be 1234. So after the device is paired, you can open the application. In the application, click on connect Bluetooth. And here select the HC05 module. So now our device is connected with the smartphone and it's ready to work. So as you can see, this system works with the smartphone as well as it works with the manual switches. And now we will test the EEP ROM memory of the Arduino. So first and second relay is turned on and now we'll cut off the power supply. And the data will be stored in the EEP ROM memory. So when we power it back, the first two relays will turn on. And yeah, that's it. It works. So friends, I hope you like this project and do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.